But let's get straight into it. So to how to plan and structure to optimize for football performance. First, we need to understand uh, the training themes that we're in. So if you're currently in, in season, you're a coach, you're a high performance staff member, we want to be able to use the games as feedback. Um, what are we seeing from a tactical point of view? So understanding that as the as the performance coach, what are the coaches seeing? What are the leadership groups seeing? Um, what are we seeing from our physical data points if you're using GPS? Uh, how well are the, are the players in each line being able to um, produce consistent high outputs in, on both from a volume run but also high speed and sprint efforts? Um, what are we seeing in terms of recovery? Um, from back-to-back -back games or short turnarounds, whether it be travel, interstate, uh, five-day breaks, what are the trends uh, and using as a bit of an audit for this time of year. Energy of the group, so particularly we're in the middle part of the AFL season, so you, you may find, depending on how your team has performed at this time of year, if you're winning games, the energy is really high and you want to keep that momentum going. Conversely, if you've lost a few games or perhaps some teams watching this have never won a game yet, that's where you might want to shake things up at, in, with your bye weeks and mid-season breaks where you might actually do an off-site session. You might simply have time away from the club just to break the monotony and the grind because there's no point um, athletes rocking up and not providing quality and enthusiasm to the training. Sometimes you just need a circuit breaker. So if that's going to the movies, if that's doing a boxing session at a local gym, if that's um, doing a recovery session where you're doing yoga and stretching and um, maybe doing some sauna or um, pool-based recovery, mixing it up, mixing up the, the location of the venue, uh, or just simply giving the athletes a bit of a different stimulus. Number three, balance between getting the work and timing your run. So we want to make sure at this time of year, like I said before, you have yourself an audit. Are you in a good position? Have you polled heaps of, have you banked heaps of games, uh, heaps of wins where you can um, afford to start maybe managing some of the older players or can you start changing the magnets around to be able to develop your squad and, and see if how other players play in different positions. So it's not like you're trying to lose games, but you're just setting yourself up for success in September where you're really developing the depth of your squad. You're giving some of the players a bit of a chop out, those older players where you're trying to make sure that they're cherry ripe at the end of the year. But also by giving the players a different playing position, it's a bit of a different stimulus. So from a development point of view, um, you might build a hybrid player that can play half back wing um, and that's going to be helpful come finals because you might lose a winger and now you've got a, a backup option. And number four, importance um, of off-site sessions, like I mentioned before, um, from an energy point of view. So um, one thing I didn't mention is doing things that have no physical benefit, but they're purely just for the team connection. So things like going to the movies, um, maybe going go-karting, paintballing, so things where it's just completely social. Obviously, it's a team sport, so you can't ignore the importance of team chemistry. Uh, and sometimes, or more often than not, the challenge and the grind of in-season is the length of the competitive season and just piling more work on top upon more work of doing the same thing over and over again um, won't get the best outcomes from a performance point of view in terms of energy and connection on the weekly weekend basis so sometimes it can be really good to just throw it to the leadership group to make that call on what what they think the players need to do uh, and, it, and it's a leaders led session players led session staff aren't involved at all 